What's up, guys? TTU Boy 23 here, and I'm back with Mr. Natty. What's going on, people? Today, we're going to be doing a WrestleMania recap. Yep. So, <laughs> let's start off with the pre show matches. Okay, pre show matches, nothing really special. We're just going to skim over them. Uh, U.S. Championship match. Thought it should be on the main pay per view title match. I don't know why it's not there. Uh, Kalisto defeats Ryback. Pretty simple match. Nothing real crazy. Eh, I give it about a C minus. C minus. Uh, Ten Diva tag match. This one had some cool stuff about it. It was Brie Bella's last match for the foreseeable future that we learned after WrestleMania. Uh, Lana made her debut, and boy, did she look fine. <laughs> She actually looks like she knows what she's doing, too. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, total, Team Total Divas won that against Bad and Blondes. Probably one of the worst names ever. <laughs> uh, um, whatever. And then the last kickoff match was the Usos versus the Dudleys. And what should have been a tables match, but wasn't. That took place on the Raw after Mania, which... Was retarded. Yeah. Uh, the Usos pick up the win here. Um, this match really didn't have much heat to it. I mean, the rivalry was there, but they didn't go into it. Much was much like all the, a bunch of these matches. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I give the Divas match a C minus, and the Usos Dudleys I give it a D plus. D plus. Nothing real big there. The Usos put the Dudleys through a table after the bell. Um, with the frogs, tandem fog splash, only cool part, but they got booed bad. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on the regular pay-per-view. We'll slow it down a little bit, go in-depth, talk about we li what we like, what we didn't, what could have helped. Starting off with the IC title match, it's a ladder match, which seems to be a common theme now at WrestleMania, with the IC up and have people climb ladders for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we had Zack Ryder, Kevin Owens, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, The Miz, Stardust, and Sin Cara. Now, you still didn't tune in by this point. Yeah, I didn't. So, I thought it was a great match. I loved it. It was awesome. There's a bunch of good spots in it. Sin Cara, off, when he got pushed off the uh, ladder on the top rope, flips and takes out everybody. Awesome. Sounds pretty um, awesome. Um, Dolph Ziggler with a super kick fest. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think he hit about four or five of them in a row. Um... Sami Zayn doing a swanton style dive that he does over the top row mm -hmm. through a ladder, taking out everybody. And then a, t uh, a turnbuckle DDT that he does, taking out Kevin Owens. Mm -hmm. Kevin Owens got a lot of damage done by Sami Zayn because Zayn also gave him an exploder suplex in the corner, and Kevin Owens' head ended up in a ladder. Wow. I thought it was a botch. It looked bad. Thank God he's okay. Uh, Stardust honoring his pappy with the American Dream, um, um, black and yellow with the polka dots, yeah. and he also had the black and yellow polka dot ladder. Cool. Um, yeah, but everybody went into this match, you and me included, thinking mm -hmm. Kevin Owens for Sami Zayn. Only two that could win it. Dolph Ziggler, maybe. Mm -hmm. Back Rider winning was great. Because... It started the show off with a swerve and a feel-good moment. Zack Ryder didn't get anything these past three years. Worked his butt off. Kid's talented. Fans love him. And he gets his WrestleMania. Two WrestleMania moments. So I said by, winning, by winning the title. And also earlier in the match, dropping an El Bro prop off a top of like a 15-foot ladder on the Miz. I like, awesome. how, I like how they named that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I love his finisher, too. The Rough Rider. I mm -hmm. love it. I don't know if he uses that as his finisher or his broski boot. He uses both of them. Um, so, yeah, I like that match. I give it an A-. minus. Now, we move on to the match that you saw, Chris Jericho. Yeah, that was AJ the first Spence. match. That was the first match I saw. You go first. Tell me what you thought of it. Every I thought, entrances, whatever. I thought, uh, I thought the match was pretty good. I liked the... the what ring attire that AJ Styles put on the red, white, and black just because those are my colors. Uh, I just didn't like how the match ended with uh, with AJ Styles losing and Chris Jericho kicking out of his 
styles clash. Like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah like we were talking before, that move was death over in Japan. You got hit with that, it was done. It was, it was game over. It was game GG. Over. Um, I, I'm not sure, but I think Curtis Axel has even kicked out of a styles clash. Or no, I'm sorry, he was the first one that I got it used on. But people have been kicking out of the styles clash. Like, even at house shows, people have been kicking out of styles clash. Come on. Doesn't make sense to me. No. Um, I also like the attire uh, Styles is wearing. I thought Jericho wearing the greatest of all time, the goat shorts, was hilarious. <laughs> um, seeing the 450 splash off the top rope by Styles, awesome. Yeah, that was um, pretty cool. I love his high flying stuff, and I think Vince sees that he can do it, and he does it great, and he's going to let him do it more, which is awesome because AJ can do that. Um, Jericho, he played the heel great. He's played the heel great ever since turning heel. Yeah. Um, I like him better as a heel anyway. His promos are just better. Yeah. Um, but Styles has got a future ahead of him. Even though this was his first Mania, he lost, but he did win that number one cont- title contender on Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. That's, we'll, we'll talk about Raw after we finish this, too. Might as well throw that in there. Yeah. That's basically WrestleMania. Pretty much. So then we have the next match. Oh, I give that uh, last match. I give it an A. Solid A. Yeah. Good, good rings. Uh, good ring work. Uh, the story was there. The psychology was there. I give it. I give it an A. Next one we have the League of Booty. The League of Booty. Versus the New Day, which was supposed to be a title match, but for some reason wasn't. New Day. No explanation for that. So. I, I don't know. It's WWE. What do you expect? Exactly. Um, what did you think of it? I thought it was a pretty good match. Um, I, I really liked the end where Shawn Michaels, Mick Foley, and uh, Stone Cold. If I didn't already say him. Uh, I like when they came out and they just started kicking that one word I can't say. <laughs> yeah. Um, booty. It was, basic, it was a pretty basic match. New Day's entrance, awesome, coming out of the Bootyos box, super sand up. I yeah. do wish they would have rode, like, unicorns Unicorn, in. yeah. Granted, you can't fly them in after the whole Owen Hart thing, like, when he died, because he got dropped in. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, give him, like, a ride, like, one of the motorized scooters that are unicorned out. <gasps> oh, cool. get, get a horse. And just put a horn on it. Or you could do that. <laughs> and just <laughs> and just put wings on Paint, it. Like rainbows on it. Yeah, I don't know. That would have been cool. Pretty, it, was, it was a pretty basic match. It's a new day match. It's fun. It's high octane. You got the unicorn stomp in the corner. Mm-hmm. Surprised that the League of Nations won. I mean, this was, this was WrestleMania. The biggest WrestleMania of the day. And your biggest tag team... Your biggest... Basically, your biggest fan following people, team, superstars, lost. Doesn't quite make sense to me. I don't get it. But, again, WWE booking, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, but after the match is the best part. Yeah. Like, I sent you that picture, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to put it in here. I should be when, able to. When Shawn Michaels' music hits, I lost it. He was wearing his gear. <laughs> I lost it. First off, that's my fa- that's like my favorite gear that he was wearing too. The camo, heartbreak mm-hmm. fan, love it. Mick Foley comes out. I'm like, okay, Mick's old. He's beat up. Probably not gonna fight. Comes out in Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack's always looking for a fight. Cool. By the way, love how he brought out Mr. Sacco. Then Stone Cold comes out. The last hit. I'm I'm teleported back to when I was ten. <laughs> that was my childhood. Those three guys watching him. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be epic. And then he comes out in jeans. <laughs> I'm like, alright. If you would have came out in his vest, the shorts. ATV? And on an ATV, done. I wouldn't have <laughs> seen what would happen. <laughs> I'd have been running around my house naked. Or his, scream. Or his truck. <laughs> or a beer truck. Yeah. Um... So yeah, when they came out and they hit a sweet chin music, no, 
Manimal, I think it was Manimal Claw and the Sweet Chain Music and the Stunner mm-hmm. on everybody, uh, on Wade Barrett. And then Rusev, I have to point this out, this was amazing. Rusev selling the Stunner that he got hit on it was amazing. That was pretty good. Did. Like, Rusev got knocked out of the ring. Loved it. Um, New Day trying to dance with him. Kofi and Shawn Michaels twerking. <laughs> Hilarious. That was. Uh, I forgot what Biggie and Mick Foley were doing. They were doing something. They were like getting G- Oh, they were doing the hips. Yeah. The hip vibration. Hilarious. Uh, and then Xavier was. You done messed up at A-Rock. <laughs> Don't get the Texas Rattlesnake, the badass, the Mr. I don't give a shit to dance. Although he got him to dance a little bit. But then, come here, sir, you're going to catch the stunner. Yep. And the New Day's, Kofi and Biggie's expressions, hilarious. <laughs> uh, I know Mick Foley and HBK, if you look closely, like they're laughing in the background when it happens. I don't, I mean, I think that was scripted, but I don't think anybody told, like, I don't think uh, Xavier and Stone Cold told them what they were doing, because, like, New Day was caught off guard, you could kind of tell, unless they were selling it that well. Yeah. But I think that was, you know, something between Stone Cold and uh, Xavier, so that was pretty cool. For sure. Yeah, I mean, the match, yeah, I'll give it a B. Solid B. It was entertaining. That's all that matters. I'll give it an A minus. It's pretty good. And, you know, that got us hyped. Extremely hyped. Mm-hmm. And then we got brought down to earth. Yes, we did. No holds barred, street fights, Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. And a, I actually went and looked it up, seven minute fight. Wow. Yeah. What was your take on this? Uh, it was a pretty good match. I just didn't like the ending again. Uh, how Brock can get, uh, what is it called? Dirty deeds onto steel chairs, like a pile of them, and he kicks out of that, but Dean Ambrose can't kick out of an F5 onto steel chairs. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we, we've always talked about Brock and how he's the he's the beast. He's unbeatable. Well, yeah, they're making him like that. But this suplex, his whole office is suplex and running knees and F5s. Yeah. He moves. And he turns red and he bleeds a lot. Yeah. I mean, of course we weren't going to see the chainsaw. Too dangerous. Yeah. Way like, too dangerous. I would have loved to have seen Barbie get used, the barbed wire bat, other than Dean making out with it, <laughs> which, go check out John Moxley on YouTube. Oh, boy. That's where that came from. Just, just watch. It's weird. Um, but I knew this match was kind of a disappointment right from the start. I love Dean's outfit, the Suplex City shirt with the DA over it, yeah. the spray painting. That was awesome. I actually ordered a shirt right when I saw that. <laughs> but... He should have came out with the red wagon with all the weapons in it, like he took off on Monday Night Raw. He filled them all up, took it away. Didn't say a word to Brock. Basically a big middle thing. Loved it. <laughs> he should have came out with it. That would have been awesome. Um, the spot where he reversed the F5 into the Dirty Deeds on the chair, called it awesome. <laughs> that should have been the match right there. Yeah. You're burying Dean Ambrose because this man is so over it. And yet, you don't let him win these matches that he should win. They're boost. If he beats Brock Lesnar, his career is set. Yeah. Right there. As much as people say, oh, well, you know, Brock's supposed to be unbeatable. He beat Undertaker. Brock needs to be beaten by a young star. Ambrose was the perfect one to do. Yeah. Him or when he comes back, Seth Rollins. That, I don't think we'll ever, I don't think we'll ever see, I'm not going to say ever. I don't think we'll see a Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar feud anytime soon, because I see something like an HBK Triple H feud when mm-hmm. HBK came back from injury, and it's going to be, be between Seth and Roman, because Seth is going to come back saying, "I never lost the title." Yeah. True. He's going to be like, "I got the title. F you. Come get it." So, and then Dean's going to get thrown in there. I I'm calling it right now. You guys can come back 360 or 59 days later from now, if, depending on when this goes up. 
It'll be I'm calling tomorrow. it next year's um, main event at WrestleMania is going to be a triple threat match between the Shield for the uh, WWE Heavyweight Title. Call right now. Book it. I'm going to be there. Book it. <laughs> Book it. <laughs> so, Dean should have definitely won. The match was short. We didn't get to see Barbie. There's really no, there's no blood. I get the whole Brock is a beast. He doesn't need a weapon. Mm-hmm. I am the weapon. How can man use a weapon? <laughs> like, it's it's a no holds barred street fight, and it. You ain't letting him use a weapon. Come on. We, we we had more outside action in the Roman Reigns Triple H fight. Yeah. I mean Roman put. Triple H through the barricade. Which was awesome. Yeah. Like, have Brock or Dean go through a table. Go, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> something. Something, man. So, I give this match a C plus. I think Dean Ambrose is getting treated pretty bad right now. And I feel for him. Like, I Wade Barrett this, bad? Or? Well, I mean, like, he's getting booked bad. They're not... He should be. He should have. He should have. He should. Have, ugh, God, I can't speak. He should have had the title by now. At one point or another, he should have had the title. Yeah. They should have had it to where he won at Roadblock, which screws everything up. Because the lunatic French, he doesn't care. He's he's like the Joker. He's got no plans. He's there to mess everything up. He should have won at Roadblock and set up Reigns Ambrose main event. Or yeah. Reigns and Ambrose. Triple H still wants Reigns. Throw him in there. Brock Lesnar wants a piece of Ambrose. Fatal four way. That would have been a nice fatal four way. You, you make that match a 40 minute match, everybody's happy. Even if Reigns win, even when Reigns wins, eventually, because it's going to happen, yep. people are still happy because they just saw a 40 minute, make it a no holds barred, make it an ODQ, make it a whatever you want. It's a fatal four way. It's going to be crazy. No matter what you do to it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. That's just me. I'm going to stop going on a rant. We got more stuff to cover. <laughs> All right. After that, we had the Hall of Fame class 2016 presentation. Everybody came out. Snoop Dogg, Fabulous Freebird, Stan Hansen, Jacqueline. Who else was there? Uh, the Godfather, mm-hmm. Big Boss Man, and then the Icon. I'm glad that they gave him his entrance. They brought all those guys out, and then the lights went out, and Sting's video hit, and his music hit, and he got to walk out. Awesome. Yeah. Sting, you're going to be missed. WWE treated you like shit when you were there for the three months that you were available there. <laughs> for real. All right. Then we get to a turning point in WWE history. And my opinion, the best match on this card, hands down. The women's triple threat match. Oh, don't get me started on this one. <laughs> Go ahead, because I'm going to go on a, on a five, seven minute tangent, because I love everything about this. Okay, because it was decided because of what Ric Flair did, and if he wasn't there, it would have been a whole different ending. Well, I agree with you, but that's Flair. Dirtiest player in the world, and that was Goddard, so, you know. you saw, I, I didn't see that coming, I'll say that. I kind of saw it coming. I had a feeling it was going to happen. My guts said yes, but my mind said no. <laughs> I was being too much of a fan, and I'll tell you why when I get there. Continue. Oh, I'm done. I, I didn't want to say anything else but that. That was just terrible. First off, Becky Lynch, bad. That's <laughs> my future wife. So. But what about Paige? Paige can come too. <laughs> Becky Lynch, fine. So, first off, let's start with the entrances. All of them. Awesome. Charlotte coming out on her dad's old uh, robe. Yeah. She had it like, that was cool. The pyro, the fireworks. Awesome. Sasha Banks coming out with her cousin, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Awesome. Becky Lynch's entrance, cool. I mean, she could have had something else more, but I really don't know what, because like, She's an Irish last kicker. Who are you going to put her out there in her corner? Fit Finley? I would. I would. (laughs) Sheamus? No. Finn Balor? I don't know. I feel like each person should have had somebody in their corner. Yeah. It would be cool 
if he was on the main roster, like you just said, Finn Balor. Most people don't know Finn Balor trained Becky Lynch. That would be cool. Someone in your corner. Someone that got you to this point. Yeah. Um, I think Snoop Dogg should have stayed in. That's what I was saying. Why didn't he just stay? I think he should have. That would have been good because him and Rick would have gone at it at that point where he grabs Sasha. That's what I was telling. That's what I was telling Ace. Um, let me talk about Sasha Banks' gear though. The Eddie Guerrero tribute gear. I like that. That was pretty cool. Awesome. I think she needs to wear the tights like that all the time. It's a good look. Yeah. She pulls it off. Um, so the match, amazing. The start of the match was a little sloppy. You could tell they were nervous. Mm -hmm. But it was an amazing match. You had the frog splash from Sasha in the corner to break up the figure four. You had the moonsault from Charlotte off the turnbuckle to the ground. That was pretty cool. You have you had the spot where um, I think it was Becky took out Ric Flair. Yeah, Becky yeah. took out Ric Flair diving through the ropes. Um, it was a great match. I don't know what else to say. I don't there know. was a like I said at the start. There was a botch. It would have been an awesome spot. Was when Sasha was on the throne buckle. Becky was going for a suplex, and then Charlotte came under and was going to pick her up and suplex both of them. Sasha went for a sunset flip, but kind of missed. That would have been a cool spot. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what a botch. I think cool as shit, but other than that, I give this match an A+. Plus. Yeah, I, I, get, I agree with that. Sasha an A+. Plus. It was amazing, and it is take away for women's wrestling. No more this diva stuff. Like, women's wrestling is awesome. I like the title that they have now. The title is... I love it. The white yeah. is pretty I, nice. I like it more than the men's title. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, but the ending, like I said, you can't. My, my like I was saying, my mind was telling me Sasha because if you follow the WWE YouTube channel, they're following her around their entire week. I was like, okay, they're building her up, a new title, a new reign, the Sasha Banks era, you know. Yeah. But Charlotte wins. Uh, now she's in a feud with Natalia. I get it. You don't want to burn out three the three girls feuding right now. Hopefully Bailey gets pushed up soon to the main roster. Yes. Four women. Maybe back next year at WrestleMania. I don't know. I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was a good match. A plus, best match of the night. Fans loved it. They killed it. They killed it. Killed it. Okay. So the next match, most people thought this should have been the main event. The Hell in a Cell. Yeah, the Hell in a Cell. I don't think it should have been the main event because you got two really old guys. Granted, it's got the company's on the line. I get it. People are going to go home happy. I get it. Mm -hmm. If this was seven, five to seven years ago, hell yeah. <laughs> Baker's still good. He's old, but I he's hate, good. I hate disrespecting him because he's a legend. Greatest of all time, potentially. Hashtag go. Well, greatest as in, you know, presence, character, body of work. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it should have been the end of it. I think it was perfect the way it was. So, what did you like about it? Shane going through a table. <laughs> Off I mean, the that, that was pretty crazy. 20, uh, I think it was a 27-foot drop or something like that. 25-foot mm -hmm. drop. I think it was 25. I, I was just like, oh, he's got to be dead. <laughs> hey, I, he hit it perfect. I have so much respect for that man. Like, he's not there every day getting his ass whipped. Yeah. He's not, he's not even a wrestler, bro. He's just... Him. <laughs> he's just him. Jokes. He is jacked. Yeah. And he put his body on the line just said, F it. I want the company and hit the table. I'm glad it, Taker didn't lay there and take it. Because one, that would have broke a rib on him. Yeah, it would have. And two, that would have been the stupidest thing in the world because it took Shane like 20 minutes to set that up. <laughs> yeah, it did. I'm glad Taker moved out of the way. That took way too long. Like, he stood up there so long, I would have been out of there. I would have been out of the arena already. Like, um, the bolt cutters, cutting open the gate was cool. Taker slamming him through was cool. I like that part. <laughs> 
Did anybody see the German or Russian announcer almost get de decapitated because of that? <laughs> the cage almost took this man's head off. <laughs> oh. so that was horrible. The money, a shame at man's entrance, bringing out his kids, the money falling with his face on it. That was pretty cool. Honestly. Taker, no one needs to talk about his entrance. Everybody knows his entrance. Everybody knows it's the best entrance out there. Everyone knows his entrance takes like 10, 20 minutes just to get to the ring. Finn Balor's right behind him next yeah. year. I would love to have the battle of the entrances. Not going to happen, though. Um, match, slow pace, but it was good. Told a story. I like Shane giving him the bring it on. Taker giving him the give it on, bring it on. That was cool. That was Although I didn't like seeing Undertaker's snot, <laughs> like, all over the place. So that, that was pretty gross. Um, you can really tell Shane's not a wrestler. <laughs> the sharpshooter he put on was worse than when The Rock used to do the sharpshooter. Dang, it was that bad. It, it was bad. <laughs> but from an entertainment standpoint, I give this match a B plus. It was there to entertain people, and it did. Yeah. So, um, I was gonna say something else. Oh, here we go. Here's something I want to bring. Pose this question to you. Okay. Monday Night Raw, Raw before WrestleMania, Taker said, these are my legacy. He was talking about his hands, his fists. Mm -hmm. After the match, Taker took his gloves off and left him in the ring. Yeah. When he got to the top of the ramp, he kind of turned around, smiled, and kept walking. <laughs> to me, he just retired. Yeah. Taker's, Taker's old school. He's not the type of guy to go out all flamboyantly. But for him to say, these are my legacy, and then to take like a symbol symbolism, like taking the gloves off for the last time, keeping them in the ring, mm -hmm. to me that's a higher. A lot of people have speculated that. What do you think? I think I think he'll do probably one more WrestleMania than he's done. Mm -hmm. But who knows, that could have been his last WrestleMania. Granted, yeah, he is really old, but... Well. I think if... Like I said, to me, I think Rez would retire, but again, then again, if it was, we would have known. Yeah. Vince would have put that out there, saying, this is Taker's last match. That place would have sold out in two seconds. It, there would have been more than 101,000 people there, if mm -hmm. that's the actual number. Some people are saying it was closer to 94,000, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Um, still, largest WrestleMania ever. Yep. But I think it, there would have been a better build up. There would have been a better opponent. Even if he were to win, still, it would have been a, it would have been advertised and it would have been talked about by now. Yeah. So I thought it, in the moment I was like, oh my god, he just left his legacy in the ring. So that was just my. I'm kind of I kind of with you on that with the retire thing, but only uh, we'll we'll find out eventually. We'll find out. It could have been me overthinking. <laughs> we'll never we'll, we'll we'll find out pretty soon probably. Okay, so the the time filler we had after this was the uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. It's third year in existence. Last two years been on the pre-show. This year. Before the main event. Which I don't get. Don't understand that. Um, we had Tatanka. Why was he back? How did he get that? Uh, weird. We had DDP. <laughs> awesome. Diamond Dallas Page. Gotta be in Dallas for WrestleMania. Everybody loves DDP. Yes. We had Shaq there. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Um... I get the whole Shaq versus Big, Big Show. Big Show, yeah. But that was supposed to happen like 10 years ago. <laughs> like, we get this now. And where everybody was like, oh yeah, that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Like, and I was reading something. People that were at WrestleMania were tweeting saying, yeah, we knew Shaq was there before the match because they had, like, stuff come up on the Jumbotron where it said Shaq. <laughs> and everybody's like, why is that there? And then they saw everybody walk to the ring, and they were like, uh... That's why. <laughs> so people kind of saw that coming. Um, 
what other legend type person? I feel like there's somebody else though. GDP, Shaq, Tonka. Oh, it was those three. Yeah. And then what was your thing? What was your idea of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale and the winner, Baron Corbin? I liked it. I like how the ending was Baron Corbin and uh, who was it? Like Kane or something like that? Kane, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I liked it. I think Baron Corbin, that's his name, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. I think he did a good job in that match. Yeah. Um, when I saw him getting that jobber entrance mm-hmm. where they like zoomed in on him coming down to the ring, I was like, he's going to win this. He has to. <laughs> um, you know, they were building up Big Show Kane. Yeah. Those guys are going to win. No one wanted to see that. No one wanted to right see Mark thing. Henry win either. So. I forgot Mark Henry was in it. I thought he had a chance because this is most likely going to be his last WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he's from Dallas. So, he's from Texas. Yeah. So I thought be. he had a chance. But I liked what they did because that's what this should be about. This should be building a young star. Corbin, I know you don't watch a lot of NXT. I really don't. Corbin's got the talent to be the top heel in the company. He's got the mic skills. He's got the, he's got the ring skills. He's got the psychology of wrestling down. Kid's good. So I'm glad they let someone young win it and it propel him to the status of, okay, this guy's here. He's not mm-hmm. to be flipped around. Yeah. Um, Sandow was in it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Sandow. Yes. Yay. Um, oh, one more thing. I forgot. I was hoping this happened. And we're going to go back to the IC title match real quick. I just want to tell you something. Okay. I was hoping... That 101,000 fans chanting Cody at Stardust mm-hmm. would bring back Cody Rhodes. Like he couldn't take, like he was driving him crazy, mm-hmm. and like he started, like he went to wipe his face or something, and the paint came off, and he looked at it and was like, "What is this?" And like it kind of brought back the Cody Rhodes. I thought that would have been cool. That would have been cool. I would have liked that too. I forgot to say that. I just saw that on my phone. I was like, "Oh man, I forgot that." <laughs> uh, yeah. So bring back Cody Rhodes. Stardust. Stupid. Who cares? Yeah. Cody. Awesome. Um, okay, so we covered the giant, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. Now we go to another time filler with The Rock. I like that. That was pretty crazy. Which I thought was a t-shirt cannon. (laughs) I did too at first. Until he tried setting the entire stadium on fire. Yeah, that that would have been bad for the Cowboys. I mean, I was watching the pre-show stuff, and I was watching the YouTube videos, and he was like, I'm here to... We're gonna we're gonna make history and we're gonna have a big surprise for you. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, he's out here to announce the attendance record. Ooh. <laughs> and with, I kind of had an inkling of what was gonna happen when in the street fight the Wyatts didn't come out. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you got the most likable guy out here. Why not bring the people that need the push out here? For real. And the Wyatts came out, which was awesome. Of course, The Rock was laying the snap down on, on him with the mic, calling him like the uh, inbred hillbillies or something, making fun of him. Mm-hmm. Who who's on with the the orange beard? Uh, Eric Rowan. I like how he said it. You, you know your parents are related. <laughs> you know your parents are related. I was like, uh, dang. You know, um, and then like, I I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty cool how he was like, we're gonna have a match right now. And, and he like just takes his stuff off. I like how he had this the gear on. He had the pads in his pants ready. Mm-hmm. He was geared up. It was the rock. I like that. It just wasn't street clothes. I like that he got a six second rock bottom. Quickest match in the wrestling WrestleMania history. Yeah. Ooh. Seven seconds. I don't like how it was against Eric Rowan. <laughs> I don't, you don't want to bury Bray Wyatt. But let Bray Wyatt and The Rock wrestle for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see that. At this point, it was I think it was already 11 o'clock when this happened. Yeah. So you're already over in time. Let them wrestle. Let Bray go out there and put on some of his, put on a show so he gets something out of WrestleMania other than, well, they got jumped by The Rock. And <laughs> after the match is over... The Wyatts are going to attack him, and who comes to save the day? Who does come to save the day? 
<laughs> do, 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 do. You can't see me. <laughs> John Cena makes a surprise return. I have one problem with this. It's Super this, Cena. Well, no. This is supposed to be a run-in. He's supposed to be coming to save the rock. Mm-hmm. Don't be your entrance where you take the towel out and look into the camera. You're supposed to be running in to save him. <laughs> Come on, Cena. Go save the man. <laughs> Granted, cool. Seeing two of the greatest of all time in the ring together who used to hate each other in kayfabe. Now working together, taking out the whites. Awesome. I love the rock bottom to AA or the five knuckle. I don't know. It was a combination of signatures and finishers everywhere. Yeah. Cool. Or now I know what it was. Cena kicked out, or he didn't kick out. Reversed Sister Abigail into the rock bottom into the item. I don't know. It was, it was a was lot cool. of stuff. Let's just say that. <laughs> cool to see two legends in the ring. Cool to see Cena back, even though he's technically not cleared to wrestle. He did a thing for a little bit. He went off. Okay. I've saved as much time as I can for this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. World Heavyweight Championship match. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a stamp on this first. I am a Roman Reigns fan. I like <laughs> him. But I'm not a homer. I'll explain later. I know you are a Roman Reigns fan. Yes. You are also not a homer. <laughs> not one of these stupid guys that just likes him because he's Roman Reigns. No. Exactly. So, what is your take on this match? Uh, I thought it was a pretty good match. Um, spe- spearing Triple H through the barricade, amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, also, when, uh, when we were talking about this earlier, how you brought up uh, how... Triple H targeted his arm and he sold it. Mm-hmm. I, I agreed with that. That was pretty yeah, good. There was, there was psychology. The heel was breaking down the baby face to where he was at the lowest point to where it's going to be a fight for him to win the match. Yeah. You know, when Roman sets up the spear, he did that. Oh, and then yeah. he was his arms up. He sold it. He only threw the left arm up because the right arm one was, got worked on for 15 minutes. When he went for the Superman punch, he went with his weak hand, not his strong hand. Mm-hmm. He sold it. These matches have been... See, people say these matches were boring. I didn't think it was, did you? I thought the matches were pretty good. Yeah. I I don't think it was boring, but people say that because it was slow. Yeah. It told a story. It was a good match. These matches happened in the Attitude Era, before the Attitude Era, mm-hmm. in, the, in the heyday of wrestling. Everybody thinks that. Those were the greatest days of wrestling. They were. But this was happening back then. You guys didn't complain back then? Why are you complaining now? Is it because it's new faces, or? It's not going to be a spot fest where you're going to have Adrian Neville-type flips, <laughs> Cesaro-type swings. Spears on spears on ladders on... You're not going to have that every match. If you did, a lot of people would get hurt. Now, I will say this. I do like Triple H, too. I was a Triple H fan when I was uh, growing up because I loved DX. Weren't we all? <laughs> His entrance this year was awesome. Yeah, it was. Having Stephanie bring him in like that, saying, You are the prisoners to us. Which is true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> are literally prisoners to the authority. Bow down to them. We do it. We all do. The skull guys were pretty creepy. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> um, can we not? <laughs> I though, and you're probably gonna laugh when I say this because you're gonna be like, no way, he wouldn't have come back. I thought those skull guys were gonna stay around the ring. And Seth Rollins. I thought one of them was gonna be Seth Rollins. I I had a feeling that. Seth Rollins would be one of those guys. I was, I was even telling Ace, what if Seth Rollins is one of these guys? When they were walking down the ring, I'm like, Seth's under one of those. I know he is. I, I was hoping, but no. Entrance, dope. Love you. Roman's entrance. Awesome. When he, when he powered up the Superman punch and hit the ground, granted the graphic took a little while, mm-hmm. but when he hit and the pyro went off, awesome. Yeah. Loved it. A um, couple spots. Now, this is where I'm going to start bringing some heat to you guys. You're going to bring the heaters. 
Roman spearing Stephanie McMahon. Ooh. You guys pop. You're booing for this man the entire match. You guys pop. <laughs> you say you're going to not... Okay, first off, you say you're not even going to watch for the main event. You're going to leave. None of y'all left. Granted, some people might have left. Y'all didn't leave like you said you were. I didn't. <laughs> I watched. Everybody watched. Okay? Mm -hmm. Roman st spearing Stephanie McMahon. Like I said, y'all pop after booing this man the entire time. Roman ducks under the sledgehammer twice. Hits a spear. Pop. One, two, three. Pop. I was going crazy when he hit that spear. He stands up, starts celebrating, y'all start booing again. Racist. He spears Triple H to the barricade. Y'all pop. What else do y'all want from this man? It's a... It's a bandwagon idea. I know. Idea. For you guys to boo this man. It's the cool thing. The same people booing Roman Reigns and the same people booing John Cena. Right. The same people Doesn't booing make sense. Roman, Roman Reigns were the same people cheering Roman Reigns when he was getting pushed. And he was the Samoan badass. I've been cheering for him. <laughs> and when he won and in Philadelphia on Raw, when he won the title, same people booing the same people cheering him. Or same people cheering him, the same people booing him. Mm -hmm. What do you want from this man? I don't get it. <laughs> they cut his promos in half. Because all he needs to say, y'all said, he talks too much. His promos suck. His promos are a lot better now. Yeah. He's saying stuff. It's coming off great, like a Samoan badass, like y'all want. <laughs> he's, not, he's not up there saying tater tots anymore. Tater tots. That was the stupidest thing. I'm a Roman Reigns fan. It was dumb as hell. When he said that, I'm like, Jesus, what are you doing to this man? <laughs> That's a John Cena line, bro. That's clown stuff. He's a good wrestler. It's not like he's a bum. Yeah. He's got the look. He's got the size. Is that what y'all hate? He's not a pure wrestler like Daniel Bryan. I'm sorry, not everybody's like Daniel Bryan. Triple H likes the big guys. Vince McMahon likes the big guys. Yeah. Just shut up. Watch the match. He's giving you, what you, want. Giving you everything you want. I don't know. Uh... To be honest, I, I don't like like Seth Rollins, but I like him a little bit, and I'm just ready for him to come back just to see what's gonna happen between them. Those those two are gonna have an incredible feud, and then when Ambrose gets thrown in, even better. It's gonna be crazy. All right, so let's cover Raw real quick on what happened. Not much happened. Roman came. Uh, we're gonna again on the Roman Reigns thing. We're gonna cover this real quick. Okay. Roman comes out, deafening boots. <laughs> He doesn't come out smiling and waving and thanking the crowd like Cena would. He comes out just nodding his head. No smile. Serious. Lifts the title. Y'all still boo. He starts giving that little grin and shaking his head. Shut the hell up. He's giving y'all what you want right now. Exactly. He grabs the mic and goes, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm not a good guy. Right then and there, y'all shut up. Shut up and listen to him. Because he's telling you what you guys are saying, what you want to hear. You want him to turn heel? No, he's a tweener. He doesn't have to turn heel. You don't turn him heel, he has more match opportunities. I'm the guy. Okay, he's giving us what we want. Mm -hmm. His promo was awesome. Y2J comes out. Eh, really? They're going to have a feud with Y2J? KO comes out. Or no, AJ Styles comes out. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. Kevin Owens comes out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sami Zayn comes out. Okay, it's going to be a fatal four-way to decide who's going to be the number one contender. You know it's not going to be Zayn. You know it's not going to be KO. They got their own. Mm-hmm. Y2J is not going to do anything because it's not going to further Roman as the badass, as the person you guys want. You knew it was going to be AJ Styles. I was so happy for AJ Styles when he won. Mm-hmm. He was awesome. Because if somehow he wins the championship, 
He's going to be a good champion. Yeah. I don't think he'll win it now. Not right now. He just got here. So. Roman, y'all need to know this, and y'all need to deal with it. Roman's going to hold this title for a while. Which is good. He, he might push CM Punk's record, just so y'all know. Which would be so good. get used to it. <laughs> the whole, the fatal, the four-way, or the five-person thing in the, at the beginning of the show, where everybody clears each other out, and he's just looking and watching and laughing, because he's like, what? I'm the guy, why are y'all, why are y'all farting each other? Y'all should be fighting me. <laughs> and then, YTJ turns around, hits him with a spear, stands up and just looks at him like, you're a dumbass, you know, that you should have seen it coming. He oh, just yeah. grabs his title and walks out. I would have done the same thing. He's giving you everything you want. I'm taking it. I'm Shut taking up it. And let this man work. Exactly. Thank you. I get, I get it. You guys pay to see what you want to see. I get it. Are you going to get it every time? No. But the Raw after Mania now has just been stupid. Yeah. It's a stupid chance. Like, I get it. Be hyped. Yeah, New Year. We start WrestleMania this year. We're going to next WrestleMania. We're building there now. I get that. So that's I'm done with the Roman Reigns thing. It's pissing me off. Just shut up. Watch this man. When he went to Houston, Houston on Tuesday for SmackDown, the place was going crazy for him. <laughs> Everybody was chanting, "Yeah!" And it uh, it wasn't. Oh, they piped in that sound. It wasn't. Yeah. You can see videos on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter from people there. They were going crazy for Roman. Those people are understanding what's going on. Mm-hmm. When you have Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, Chance going at each other, you're doing something right. Okay, I'm done with Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> Big Cass and Enzo make their debut on Raw, and they're going at the dummies. What did you think of that? Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting, to be honest. It was... I don't know how to explain it. It was, it was just crazy. I love it. Enzo and Cass are the are so over. As long as that Enzo is going to be the, the mouthpiece for that group, it's done. Yeah. They are made. They are made men. They have talent in the ring. They're an old school style tag team with flair they know how to work they know how to set up that hot tag so big cast when enzo's getting his ass whipped they know how to set that up so big cast can come in and clear house and go crazy and come back mm -hmm. they know that putting them with the dudleys is great those guys are the greatest tag team of all time mm -hmm. title wise rain wise it's cool give them that that's perfect um you had apollo cruz debut awesome Paula Cruz is very talented. Will he be a main eventer? Maybe someday. But he'll be a solid mid card. Very athletic. Kid's good. Yeah. Baron Corbin, like I said, could be the top heel in the company. Could one day be a main eventer. Putting him in a feud with Dolph Ziggler? I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay with, with it. it. Ziggler is a very good worker. Probably one of the best workers of our generation. That's good. Um, then we get the Fatal 4-Way. Sammy Zane gets attacked by Kevin Owens. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the fourth guy? Cesaro! <laughs> Glad to see Cesaro back. Rip-off suit and all. Love it. AJ Styles wins the match. Number one contender. Fans are chanting, you deserve it. Perfect. You deserve it. Now, at the start of the show, Vince McMahon gave Shane the reins. Mm -hmm. It's a run show. I don't know if it was just me, but did you realize the Shane McMahon show was a lot like the Vince McMahon show? Mm hmm Everybody wanted to think, including me, that if Shane took over, he would have some say. Mm, probably. I don't think so. It's always going to come back to Vince. Whatever Vince says, Vince is going to have the last word. Can Shane bring good ideas? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will Vince listen? Mm, probably not. <laughs> so, just, I know we've gone on a rant here these last couple minutes, or mostly me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
enjoy it for what you got, man. This is a good time in wrestling. We got a lot of young talent coming up from NXT. We haven't even seen Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, the Bullet Club. Just wait till they get here. There's a potential chance of the Bullet slash Balor Club, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Doc Gallows, Carl Machine, uh, Carl Anderson, Finn Balor, AJ Styles, maybe, probably not Styles. Styles doesn't need to be in a in a group. He's a he's fine where he's at, unless he's the leader. Against the Shield, a revitalized Shield, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins, Rollins. Bullet Club Shield. Tell me you don't want to see that. I want to see that. <laughs> this is a good time. We got stuff going. The women's division, awesome. Bailey's gonna come up. Oscar's gonna come up. Nakamura made his debut and tore the house down. He's gonna be up. Austin Aries did a great job. He's gonna be coming up. Okay, I have a question for you that Ace asks me all the time. Do you think if Jeff Hardy would come back, he probably won't, uh, do you think he would get on the main roster right away or be in NXT? Yes, a potential for both. I, I think he'd go, I, I before you start, I think he'd be in NXT for a little bit. I, it's a very slim chance Jeff Hardy comes back out. He has a serious drug problem. Yes. And the last time he, well, the last time I watched Jeff Hardy, he was stoned out of his mind against Sting. He was so drugged out on a TNA pay-per-view that it was the World Heavyweight title and Sting pinned him in 18 seconds because Jeff couldn't stand. He showed up late. His music hit and he didn't come out for a minute later. He's drugged out of his mind constantly. Yeah. So if he does come back, could he go main roster? Yeah, it's Jeff Hardy. Who doesn't want to see Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy versus Neville. Oh my god, two high flyers. That would have been cool. But, part of me says, he'll go to NXT. Because he would have to prove to Vince, and to Hunter, and to Stephanie, that he can keep his shit together and stay clean. Yeah. And he's been out of WWE for a while, so he needs to learn the WWE brand of wrestling again. TNA, not these indie shows. Yeah. So. I, I want to see Rey Mysterio come back, to be honest. Him and the Lucha Dragons, that would be a nasty tag team. Yeah, I mean, I liked what they did with Sin Cara and him, like, passing of the torch, like that whole thing. Yeah. I think if he were to come back, he would need, they would re need to redo that feud because Sin Cara's gotten a lot better. Or... Put it against Kalisto. Yeah. Because Kalisto is a fan favorite. But then again, Rey Mysterio is old. Like, yeah. Just, I mean, what is that doing? He's just, he's just beating up on an old guy. Pretty much. <laughs> There's only really one person that I want to see come back to the WWE, and it'll never happen. Who? CM Punk. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. I do not see him ever coming back. And I don't care what you guys say. Him and Vince are so estranged on their relationship, it's not going to happen. Will he be in the Hall of Fame one day? Maybe. Probably. Will he show up? Probably not. not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, yeah, it sucks that we don't see CM Punk. He has like, he could have 10 more years. He could have rested until he was 47, 48. I don't think he would have. I think he could rest until he was about 45. But still, it's like seven more years of punk. We don't get to see. It sucks. I was so sad when he had to leave. Yeah. <laughs> go watch his interviews. Go have go watch his interviews on why he left the WWE with uh, Colt Cabana on his podcast. And you guys will be surprised. What actually? No, you won't. Because Vince is, Vince can be an asshole. Just go listen to that and see what he went through. Vince screwed Brett. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think you guys need to shut up and enjoy WWE. Well, we got something going that's somewhat good. If you don't like Roman, who cares? I like Roman. <laughs> on the roster you like and follow them. Exactly. But give the man a chance. Alright guys, well, that's it for this video. If y'all want to see more, like, comment what y'all would like 
to see us talk about and subscribe to me Natty's dis- Natty's channel will be in the description I almost messed that up uh, his twitch will also be in the description uh, so yeah we're out peace